Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll share with you some new tips and tricks for the iPad. Let's delve into the display settings of your iPad. It boasts an excellent display, crucial for both consuming and creating content. There are ways to customize and optimize the display. Navigate to the Settings app and find the Display and Brightness section. Here, you can toggle between light and dark mode. I prefer using both depending on the time of day. You can set up a schedule for automatic switching between them. Additionally, there's a brightness adjustment here. Disabling automatic brightness can save battery life, but I recommend keeping it on to preserve battery charge. For editing photos in Lightroom, you can disable the True Tone feature for more accurate color representation. There's also a night shift mode, which reduces the amount of blue light for more comfortable nighttime reading. It can also help prevent sleep disturbances. Don't forget to set up automatic screen lock to conserve battery and prevent screen damage. The control center offers a convenient way to adjust various settings. You can open it using the C key on your keyboard or by swiping from the upper right corner of the screen. One handy feature is the ability to lock screen rotation. I often use the control center as a notepad for displaying information or conducting presentations. You can customize it by adding or removing options in the app settings. There's also the possibility to add tools, such as switching focus modes, voice memos, or scene manager. I particularly like the audio playback control feature. If desired, you can also transfer sound to other devices grouped together, such as to home AirPods capsules. In the control center, you can customize numerous quick settings, but many people don't know that additional functions are available by holding them. For instance, holding the flashlight icon allows you to adjust the brightness, while holding the camera icon provides quick access to video, selfies, or photos. Battery saving settings on the iPad can significantly extend its battery life. Start by adjusting Siri settings to reduce energy consumption. Disable the voice activation feature for Siri to avoid constant listening for the activation phrase, which reduces battery life. Instead, use the top button to activate Siri. For even longer battery life, it is also recommended to configure app notifications. Check the list of apps and disable notifications for unnecessary ones, such as shopping or gaming apps. Additionally, you can disable automatic background app updates for most apps, except for those that require constant updates, such as streaming services or email clients. These changes will help extend battery life and reduce distractions from notifications. The guided access feature allows you to lock access to a specific app on your iPad, preventing switching to other apps without entering a new PIN code. To enable this feature, go to Settings, then to Accessibility, and select Guided Access. To activate Guided Access, press the Power button three times, then confirm by tapping Guided Access. Once activated, users won't be able to leave the app or use gestures without entering the PIN code. This is useful if you're handing over your iPad to a child or friend and want to restrict access. This feature also helps prevent theft, since intruders won't be able to quickly disable the device. For additional security, it's recommended to disable the ability to use the control center when the device is locked in the Face ID and Passcode settings. If you go into the settings, navigate to the Accessibility section and find the shortcuts for accessibility features, you'll be able to choose what triple pressing the power button will do. It can be anything from adjusting the display, like color filters, to activating an accessibility feature. For example, it could be activating the keyboard. With this feature, you can do a lot. Just add a small shortcut to your iPad. Now most people know about it. While watching videos on your iPad, you can use the picture-in-picture -picture mode, which allows you to move and resize the video window on the screen. This feature works on both iPads and other Apple devices. Additionally, there are some interesting options in the settings. For example, if you have an iPad Pro 11-inch, 2018 or 2020, or an iPad with an M-series chip, you can customize the display resolution to run the iPad at a higher resolution. This provides more workspace. You can also choose an alternative default web browser or email app. Some iPads have a new volume adjustment button that is located on the right side in landscape mode. You can disable this feature in the sound settings. Now your iPad can be used as a scanner. It's a big secret. Simply open files, press and hold an empty space in the folder to activate the scanning option, 
Use the powerful iPad camera to scan documents, sign papers, capture receipts, or grab snippets of printed material you need in digital format. Here are my new tips and tricks for the iPad that I find most useful for boosting speed and productivity. Let me know in the comments which ones were new and helpful for you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Have a great day!